So we get to Kiafa, and she basically trying to boss him around, saying, why would you say a comment like this? What was you thinking? Basically asking him what was he doing back in the statement, which I can agree he shouldn't have made that statement. My problem with you is, Kiafa, you coming in too strong too early, honey. You need to that down a couple of notches that I might can root for you and cheer for you. And I ain't going to talk about your dog situation, you and your husband. I'm going to leave that one alone. Somebody else going to take care of that situation. Okay, Micah, you seem like a cool, relaxed person that you said now that you went to prison and now you ain't got yourself together. I can respect you, your wife, on the other hand. I thought I liked the home basketball wife. She coming up as a ball saying that, you her, that she your mama, that, that she your son, and you her... You best, she better coming up as she the mother, you the son, you listen... Yo, wild to boss with me. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to like Kiafa too much. But I can deal with you, Michael Vitt, minus the dog and bullshit. I'm glad you mentioned it for I didn't have to. So I'm glad you changing your life around. But your wife, she can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. Oh, so you the helper that was dating the ugly fucker that got him. F oh, I remember you on Twitter. I don't keep up with basketball, a basket like basketball or football, whatever y'all wise, but football wise, I don't keep up with it. But I remember I'm talking about your messy and, and now you on this show bragging about it. Guys, you got him what he want. You almost, girl, don't be bragging. Now you finna get that man in a horror world of trouble sitting up here bragging about what. That ain't nothing to brag about, Miss Thing. You did look the dumb and stupid on Twitter doing all that. And you sitting up here bragging about it because you got a show. Yeah, don't let this show just have one season. You doing all this hard bragging. You know what? I don't keep up with football, but I remember all these fucking stories about him dating his stalker. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I watch football. I don't keep up with the drama, but I remember all these stories. Like I'm reliving them all over again. I'm going to love this show. This show is a step up better than basketball hole. So I'm going to appreciate this show a whole hell of a lot. Wait, 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 wait. Key offer. Key offer. Please don't be one of them little assholes that can't handle their own battles and you talk all this big shit and you sending your daughter and your grandma and your daddy and your uncle over to that girl house. Really? Kiafa? Girl, I smelled you from a mile away and I knew I wasn't going to like you. You seen like that type of girl? I ain't going to like. And you proving me wrong every time I try. You really something? That you said... Kiafa, I just knew I wasn't going to like you. Oh, my gosh, this girl just used the N-word because she called you a scripper. Girl, you got trolled hard. You came out your character for something that shouldn't have affected your life. Whoever you is, and I'm just learning you, she just played your ass, and you just called her. And we going to leave that one alone. So, this argument started over somebody slept with somebody's husband, and she knew about it, so she fell on top of way, and she he trolled her, and she fell for it and said, Joe husband like script. Please don't be basketball wise all over again. Please have a little bit of dignity in class. I beg with you, baller wise. Please. I just got through with that. Don't care to go back down that road. Please. Damn, the brother, too. Okay, scripper chick, whatever. Key off, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be the Shawnee of this show because I see you already acting like her and you showing a sign of Shawnee already. <sighs> I guess I'll give you another shot to say you're going to redeem yourself. So, what I'm seeing for that love fight, the chamber chick is supposed to be the stalker chick. The stalker, I think, scripper chick. Uh, I'm confused. I have to learn these hoes about two or three episodes in. But if all they saying she the stalker chick, so we are, I got my eye on you, Chambers. Oh, Lord, not sleeping with somebody's husband, and then we blurting it out. 
Okay, um, Kim Bella, season one, not season one or season two of um, Love and Hip Hop. Oh, we got a Kim Bella on the show. Uh oh, Miss Thing, come clean. You then said you slept up with that man. Oh, now we back better than pussy popping now, huh, Miss Thing? You didn't got called, and now you got two of them up here clowning your ass in the confessional. How you trying to revert back them little? Dumb miles on their car. They not coming off that car. Maybe when you die, maybe. You might want to keep your foot in your mouth. Then maybe you won't say some dumb shit like that trying to back it up now. I ain't got no problem with Yes, you do. Because you wouldn't. You wouldn't say you slept with that man or woman, whoever that was. Girl. I said you going to be the messy one. And this one along with Key Alpha. Well, girl, she do have a point. Your hair is kind of looking dry. Look like it's to need some dehydration, some grease, some oil. Up. She ain't lying about that. When you could use a little bit of grease while it's up there floating in the air like it's at. Mm. <laughs> Everybody looking like teens. Are you there with your hair looking like a one? That's all I'm going to say about that one. But nice little outfit, I guess. <laughs> Dog face, Kiafa. She got your ass there. You do kind of got a dog face. Look like you was in that dog fighting scandal with your husband. You sure you were one of the damn dogs in that dog fight? She ain't lied there, Kiafa. Your face do look like a damn dog. Look like a pit bull in the face. I, she got you there. Ooh, girl, you need your ass wool. Huh, mama died and you said good. You need your ass whooped for that one, even if you is mad for that when family is off the table. Please don't do the basketball wife shit time out from me here. Y'all hoes already go. Y'all already getting stopping. And what I can see from this first episode, key off and running her crew. The stalker slash married the man that she was stalking married. Her and Kiafa don't get along too hot. So basically the episode been about them two arguing. And they millions upon millions to arguing with each other basically. Kiafa to be on. To, to be honest. You talking about she pregnant. You don't want to hurt her. You thinking about your husband. The little reputation he do got. But what he did, even though he did do his time, that's still going to hunt him. Key off, I think you all talking no ass. And even if that girl was pregnant, I don't think you a bust a goddamn grape. I think you just... Yeah, until you convince me otherwise that you ain't all mouth and all talking jokes, when you punch a bitch, I might believe you might can do something. Until then, Key off, I think you ain't no better than Shauna. You just all talking won't do shit. Anyways, though, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about these women's. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.